علمنا الاعلام فضل. لا انا اعلمك الاعلام غصب عنك وغصب عن After the president of Al Zamalek Sporting Club exchanged insults with an Egyptian news editor live on television, a small difference in opinion turned to a legal battle. The known Egyptian lawyer has sued the editor for slandering not just himself, but the president of the country as well. On Monday, Mansour stressed that it's not just a personal fight. Any attack on me is an attack on Al Zamalek Club. We will try this man and I will make sure he will go to jail. Journalists quickly intervened to support their colleague. A movement among Egyptian newspapers began to stop publishing Murtada Mansour's name from any newspaper. The press syndicate even escalated more, announcing that it will freeze membership of print journalists who attended this press conference. That's the first time such a ban has been imposed since the establishment of our coalition 40 years ago. Now that it has the blessing of the journalists, no one can dare disobey. This ban will be indefinite unless something happens to change our course of action. Respect above all, that is our slogan. As the press syndicate will suspend any journalist who attended this press conference, we, the board of the club, will not deal with any newspaper which did not attend today. To decrease the damage this ban could have on the club, newspapers will cover some necessary news stories of Al Zamalek, mainly concerning their football team. Al Zamalek has suffered from its management for the past decade, but since Mansour was elected, he has been renovating the entire club's structure. And that requires a lot of money. Without positive media propaganda, Al Zamalek might not be able to convince more sponsors to join. And what started as a personal conflict has become a national scandal that the club is paying for. Particularly that no one knows for how long will this ban last in Egyptian newspapers. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.